So, as usual, there is some fuckery afoot. And this fuckery is Zuckery flavored. Um, for those of you who have been following me for a significant period of time, you know that Facebook is one of the platforms that I have talked the most shit on. I don't know if I've talked more or less shit on them than Twitter. Um, because Twitter actively, like, banned me for one and a half years, and then later lied, well, later admitted that they lied about the reasons for having done so. They originally accused me of platform manipulation and spam. Now, how they could uh, accuse me of having spammed um, is a little bit easier because I used Twitter a lot. I gave them a lot of free content. Um, and how they could accuse me of platform manipulation Hey, that's fucking easy, because it's fucking subjective and arbitrary and undefined. They never proved I manipulated the platform any more than any fucking buddy else. Um, and verified accounts connected to, like, the ShareBlue network of fucking Democrat fucking DNC bots. Um... Those got to stay up, and those are still up, by the way. Um, so, I, 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 you know, this, is, this video isn't me, you know, trying to fucking make it seem like Zuck is exclusive here, but I do think it's worth mentioning um, because, you know, I, uh, for those of you who also know, uh, have recently started to become a, a content creator on Facebook, which means my profile is in professional mode now, and uh, they, they, they're they going to start algorithmically promoting me, allegedly, and they're also going to start paying me, um, like YouTuber. Uh, and I don't understand why, because, as you'll see in this video, my anti-Facebook uh, bona fides are relatively fucking solid. And they would be, in my assumption, in my estimation, the last platform to decide this sort of thing. Uh, but, you know, before I get my inevitable ban on Facebook, which will inevitably happen because, like, videos like this don't make them look great, and paying somebody on their platform to say things like this is not going to probably last all that fucking long. So, you know, whatever. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get it while it's hot um, and make a significant amount of anti-Facebook content as well. Um, because the company sucks so much. Um, a, a part of the thing... Like, I had uh, a, a great series of tweets uh, on the real investments in things like Saudi Arabia. Uh, for, well, from things like Saudi Arabia's, you know, sovereign wealth fund, private investment fund. And it, it mentioned Alphabet, Amazon, and Meta. As some people that this year Saudi Arabia is throwing money at. Um, so that got suppressed algorithmically. There is no way it didn't. Because my other tweets about equally incendiary topics that didn't criticize Meta, those are fine. I fucking wonder why. Well, I'm not saying this is proof. But, it's always good to remember that two years ago, Facebook literally fucking admitted um, in front of the Senate in that <laughs> god-awful teleconference thing where Mark Zuckerberg was against a white background and just looked like a, a floating alien light bulb head with, like, fish lips just mop-mopping at the camera. Um, 
And so, basically, he testified that, like, they fucking suppressed it because the FBI told them it was Russian disinformation. And, you know, there's a lot of people acting like this is new information, and it's not. It really isn't. But, he showed up on the Joe Rogan podcast, Joe Rogan Experience, so that he could uh, discuss things. And one of the things just packaged it all from the horse's mouth a little too nicely, and people remembered that, hey, Facebook is doing some fucked shit, and maybe we should be against that. So I thought I'd go over this video uh, at the six-minute mark to make sure that fucking YouTube didn't accuse me of theft or duplicate content or whatever, and this fucking shit can still get monetized if YouTube ever decides to treat me, as well as Facebook did. Holy shit. Um, and give me fucking funding. Um, it'd be fucking hilarious if people started. And, and I gotta tell you that one of the weirdest parts for me is that this creator program invite thing happened right around the same time as the Twitter thing where they unbanned me after like one and a half years. It seems too coincidental. And I feel like there might be something coordinated happening, but I don't have evidence. So, in an effort to not get this video suppressed, I'm going to say I have no evidence of there being any coordination. Cool. So now uh, that I've gotten that out of the way, I'm going to share my screen here. And uh, there's going to be a clip from Minds uh, that's the same clip that everybody else is posting. Uh, but Meta's response is in the response to Minds because they said, you know, this isn't new. He already admitted to this. Um, and, and just going to say that, like, that's not a point in their favor in any way to me. Like, oh, yeah. We already fucking admitted to breaking into your house and killing your jo dog, John Wick. Uh, we admitted to it, though. So so we're chill, right? Um, no, admitting to something and being honest about having done it is um, not a fucking ethical, like... <laughs> it's not an ethical justification. It's It's not a Hail Mary. It's not a fucking, like, absolution, you know? There's, you've gotta, you've gotta actually care and want to change and then change in order to truly be sorry. Um, it's, it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go fucking punch you in the face. And then, af immediately afterwards, it was just fucking, Phew! oh, um, I, I just punched you in the face. And you're like, fuck, I know, god damn it, man, what the fuck? And, and, and they're, look, well, I just said that I punched you in the face, though. It's like, yeah, you did. So what should I do about that? Um, and, and, you know, you know what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to fight back. But there's no real way to fight back in this metaphor to make it work here, so I'm not going to extend it any further. The point is that saying you did something doesn't make it acceptable. And real apologies... Uh, involve real repentance. That's a carryover from my Christian days. So let me play this video because I think it's fucking valuable to know. Uh, but it, just come on, Meta. This is why you only got 63 likes. Like, holy shit, look at even that picture that they chose for that article and then try to think of this as anything other than some alien fragment of a you know, of a lost civilization that fucked up, like, along the same lines that we did. Like, we're finding their footage and being like, Ugh. took the exact worst, most fucking alien shot of it, just like, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> uh, 
so this is the actual video up here. I'm going to play that for y'all. How do you guys handle things when they're a, a big news item that's controversial? Like there was a lot of attention on Twitter during the election because of the Hunter Biden laptop story. The New York Yeah, we Post. have that too. Yeah, so you guys censored that as well? So we took a different path than Twitter. Um, I mean, basically the background here is the FBI, I think, basically came to us some some folks on our team it was like hey um just so you know like you should be on high alert there was the, we we thought that there was a lot of russian propaganda in the 2016 election we have it on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of of um uh of, that's similar to that so just be vigilant so our protocol is different from twitter's what twitter did i'm gonna pause it there for a second The FBI just said, if this is true, and if this wasn't just something that, like, was invented because Facebook was like, oh, the FBI says to shut it down, so we'll just shut it down. We don't even need a reason. Um, you know, if this conversation happened and had any sway whatsoever, uh, what they're saying is that the FBI said Russian disinformation in 2016... And so it's happening again now. And Facebook was like, yep. No. Um, Russiagate has been really thoroughly debunked at this point. I got some Facebook notifications. Like, they might actually be algorithmically boosting me. I'm going to mute my desktop audio while I uh, go over this, though. So the general thing there is like, you know, <laughs> that the Russia Gate thing was like thoroughly debunked. It's been thoroughly debunked, and it was a bunch of also racist nonsense that justified like hatred of Russians domestically. Again, it's just neo McCarthyism, but like, ooh, look, scary Republicans now. Um, and you're not allowed to do anything similar with their opposition, you're not allowed to po point out look, Biden and his dealings with Burisma or, like, the, the Chinese businessmen or the Ukrainians he was trying to, like, essentially smuggle um, and, and literally got a letter about human trafficking about. Uh, you know, this sort of thing is, is, is verboten, but you were allowed to bring up Russian disinformation in, in Republican campaign? I mean, that kind of does show a bit of a bias if this isn't bullshit. And either way, it shows that they can suppress whatever the fuck they want and they don't need a real good reason or any actual proof. They just need people to say, hey, look at that. That's bad. That shouldn't be seen as much. Do that. And they're like, yep, let's do that. Um, yeah, the whole thing sucks like and it's very suspicious you know there's no reason to think that it's anything other than suspicious because these people uh like they admitted that like it's just you know because of russiagate that's it that's their only evidence and they don't actually have any other like thing to stand on except hey twitter did this but also worse though so the fuck what, though? That doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that Twitter did it worse. It just matters that either of you have the power uh, and willingness to do it. That sucks. Um, especially from a freedom of speech and fucking, like, liberation standpoint. So that's a really bad angle to start it from. But I'll, uh, I'll... I'll I'm going to let you finish, but Facebook sucks wet asshole. It on notice that basically there's about to be some kind of dump of, of um, uh, that's similar to that. So just be vigilant. So our protocol is different from Twitter's. What Twitter did is they said you can't share this at all. Um, we didn't do that. What we do is we have, um, if something is reported to us as potentially 
um, misinformation, important misinformation. We we also have this third party fact checking program because we don't want to be deciding what's true and false. I'll get to this a little bit later, but their third party fact checking program uh, is kind of bullshit. They got a lot of government employees working for them, and uh, the government employee, well, ex government anyway. Uh, and these ex-government employees work very closely with, like, the Atlantic Council, which is a big old government institution. Um, <laughs> and th they they got funding from Peter Thiel, the, like, the alleged libertarian on the steering committee of the fucking Bilderberg Group, um, who also works with a bunch of military and intelligence industrial complex guys. Uh, and U.S. government officials. Um, and, and they also got funding from Greylock Partners, which is a big, like, military and intelligence industrial complex group of people. Um, so they got, you know, their funding from these sources, and, uh, you know, maybe, maybe it could be that uh, working with the Atlantic Council uh, which is like a big like government thing uh, is is a fucking problem for having your third party objectivity uh, go unquestioned there. Just saying, yo, because that no, no, it's not third party. It's, it's it's all one party. You're part of the mono party. Anyway, uh... <laughs> and for the, I think it was five or seven days when it was basically being um being determined whether it was false um the distribution on facebook was decreased but people were still allowed to share it so you could still share it you could still consume it so when um, you say the distribution is decreased in, it, it got shared it, how does that work it basically the ranking in newsfeed was a little bit less so fewer people saw it than would have otherwise so it definitely by what percentage i, I don't know off the top of my head but it's 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 meaningful, but I mean, but basically, a um, a lot of people were still able to share it. We got a lot of complaints that that was the case. Um, you know, obviously, this is a hyper political issue. So depending on what side of the political spectrum you either think we didn't censor it enough or censored it way too much, but right. but we weren't sort of as black and white about it as as Twitter. We just um, so there's something else. It's just like the left right political spectrum thing. Because, no, I identify as the whole bottom strip of the political compass. Uh, I am, I am anti-authoritarian, uh, 100%, and, you know, 100% libertarian. That's called anarchy. And anarchists exist in a variety of fucking sides, and you don't need to be on any given side to recognize that a big government supporting and big government funded organization like Facebook consolidating state power and information um, you know when as Peter Coffin says you know attention is currency in the marketplace of ideas uh, it, you don't need to be on the right to think that's fascist and you don't need to be on the left to think that that's maybe uh, the way to the worst kinds of authoritarianism. You know? He, he just... He's trying to play this like it's like it's some sort of fucking playtime conversation. It's not. You fucked with people. And you helped them fuck with other people. And then you watched and sat back and collected a paycheck on it. You know? That's what you did. Uh, because I still get people claiming that because I bring up Hunter Biden's laptop, or now his compromised iCloud, I'm some sort of Russian disinformation agent. You know, I have never been to Russia. Um, I have, I believe, exactly zero Russian blood. Um... And while I do know some Russians, I also know a little bit of everybody else. Uh, I, I'm not part of that, you know? But they want to make it seem like, you know, anybody who, who questions the laptop thing is just a 
a Putin puppet, a Russian troll bot, NPC, blah, blah, blah. like it's not real, it never was real, but they still persisted with it, um, because they were told by people like Facebook that it was okay to otherize people over this. They were told by people like Twitter that this just was misinformation with exactly zero fucking proof. You know the guy who had the laptop to begin with, like the, the repair shop guy? He had to flee, I think, multiple cities because they found him and started to destroy his shop and threaten his life. Because more Russia... The specter of Russian controller information was used in the fucking Red Scare in McCarthy era, and now it's being used here, and it always can be. It was used as a justification for getting involved in Afghanistan. It was used as justification for hiring Nazis in the form of the Galen Org and some of the original, like, guys behind NATO. It was used as a justification for increasing missile capability for MK Ultra and all associated MK programs, for fucking uh, the invasion of the Middle East post-2000, for giving Ukraine like over $50 billion at this point, for so much fucking shit, just like say Russia and you'll get your political fucking shit right, because it's a political football, it's not real. Like, yeah, fuck Russia. They're practically fascist in the same way that state capitalist countries like fucking China are. They both suck. But the U.S. isn't fucking better in most of the regards people mention. So you can't just say, my Russia, and expect people to move on now. It's probably not going to work as well now that people have seen that, hey, basically nothing was in that report there was nothing solid um and maybe the msm and politicians fucking lied to you could that be at all possible nah just fucking support biden and maybe he'll give you more tidbits in the form of some student loan stuff yeah so uh i'm gonna continue playing this now <laughs> oh and okay you know uh, yeah, we, we just, you know, we're not as bad as Twitter, though. Just keep that in mind. You know, we're hashtag not as bad as Twitter. And, and you know, I can kind of confirm that as somebody whose main account that had been on there for 12 years at the time, uh, now 13 going on 14 because they unsuspended it, um, I can confirm that Twitter suppresses things much more directly. Because I was one of the things they suppressed. I'm not happy with Twitter, either. Y'all can watch my Twitter uh, unsuspended me video um, when you want. Uh, so that you can see how much sort of ire I have for those people. I'm not saying Twitter is better. I'm saying it's like, you know, Twitter and Facebook are sort of like US and Russia. And neither are really worse than the other. So... Anyway, kind of thought, hey, look, if, if the FBI, which you know, I still view as a legitimate institution in this country, it's a very professional law enforcement. They come to us and tell us that we need to be on guard about something Then I want to take that seriously. Did they specifically say you need to be on guard about that story? I, I No, I, I don't remember if it was that specifically, but it was it basically fit the pattern. So. <laughs> They fucking just said, oh, yeah, we couldn't verify, we can't, I don't remember. It was, it might have been that story that we were told to suppress. It might have just been the whole fucking thing we were told to suppress. Just anything we were told by the FBI to suppress, we just fucking suppressed. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm gonna show you all you know, some fucking tabs here, because I feel like it's necessary. So... This is a nice little card that I think is very valuable. 
and uh, very rare. And if any of you want uh, a copy of this card, feel free to hit me up. I will send it to you. Um, but basically, using this allows you to absolve a business whose practices are being called into question of any guilt or responsibility for their actions. No matter what the effects on, are on the field, this counter may only be used after a business is questioned and only if the user believes it cannot be countered by anything. Yeah, it's, it's fucking great. I am tooting my own asshole here because I made this and uh, I made it like prior to suspension. Um, but like ultimately, um, actually I think it might have been, because I made this prior to suspension, but like it might have been right around when Facebook suspended the outlet I write for, Agoras Nexus, which I'm about to start writing for again. And there's a lot coming there, including new podcast episodes, so keep an eye out. But um, the I reposted this after I was suspended on Twitter because I said I was suspended on Twitter and a bunch of people got crusty cunted about it and said, like, oh, no. You got suspended on Twitter because Twitter's a private company and they can decide who's on there. Fucking, yeah, they can. It doesn't make it not evil. It doesn't make it not wrong. So, you know, swaying huge amounts of people's uh, <laughs> attention by removing certain content that might, like, go against your agenda. I mean, I'm still search suppressed. Um, if you try to search tweets from me from before the ban, you can't. Because I'm still, like, partially banned, even. So, it's bullshit, you know, uh, to say that this is okay, that this is acceptable. But basically, I made this in response to the same thing that I wrote the article over here for. So, this is an article that I wrote... For Agris Nexus, it's really fucking long. Called Facebook is not a private company. Y'all can take your screenshots now. But basically, uh, the the article goes on to discuss fucking <laughs> Peter Thiel on the Bilderberg Steering Com Committee, uh, Jim Breyer and Excel Partners, um, <laughs> Greylock Partners. Um, the literal fucking CIA, um, you know, <laughs> I don't understand how anybody could think of Facebook or anything with a similar funding and creation model as a private company. It's a corporation with that many state-adjacent funds directly funded by people who have an interest in information control, aggregation, and manipulation for the purposes of furthering the interests of state actors working directly for those state actors to ensure that nothing outside the status quo is ever said using their platform, at least not for long, thus controlling a significant portion of the information people see, and therefore public opinion itself, given the amount of time its billions of users spend getting information from it, and granted all the special privileges and exemptions that corporate status allows, truly a private business? No. The answer is no. When you've been funded by theft taxation to do the will of the state, and when you have never deviated from this course, you are not private, or else all is private. And the, distinguish, the distinction between the private and public sectors becomes utterly meaningless and bereft of value. People literally called me fucking insane over this. And then I went over, like, the government to Facebook pipeline and the fact that, like, literal government agents um, and, and like, ex-mill and shit like that were working for Facebook now, just, like, directly speeped into the, into the employee base so that they could run it with the, the state in mind. They, people called me insane, even though I directly quoted literally CBS. You know? In 2011, people were already t taking notice of this fact, and even CBS News was telling people that Facebook is a tool of the CIA. But nobody believes people like me when we say it, because we are crazy conspiracy theorists. 
But in that same article, the author went on to say that Facebook, even at that time, was the world's largest database. And it's grown even larger since, ballooning in size and magnitude and maintaining its informational grip. The piece reported that even then, Facebook had already gotten in bed with the CAA and the world's largest ad agency network, WPPGY, and InQtel funded visible technologies to use ads and user tracking data to build profiles on every single person who uses the site. That's right, those cookies you accept for ads as a condition of being on certain websites might be a part of the CIA-affiliated ad tracking agency, using those cookies to watch your browsing across the internet, building a sinister information profile in synergistic connection with your social media activity, concretely connecting you, your data, and everything you know to your internet browsing history. Additionally, Cloudera, a CIA-backed data infrastructure company, is behind their data storage solutions, seriously. And all of that, combined with that fucking scandal, Cambridge Analytica, that should tell you fucking everything. But people still doubt me. So, for those of you who think that I'm going to stop talking shit about Facebook because, uh, the arrangement, yeah, no, not going to happen. And this is what I've, I've been saying recently. You know, Peter Thiel, uh, Project Maven, AI facial recognition, Palantir, military intelligence software firm, SafeGraph, CDC paid data broker, Facebook, CIA funded data collection, Bilderberg Group, statist conspiracy org, and much more statist stuff. Is not a libertarian. You hack. Um... And I also talked about um, Somnium wants to build literally a 100% copy of you in the metaverse. They claim it's so that you can live forever, so people can talk to something indistinguishable as AI. But if they know enough about you to make a copy, they know enough to control you before you die. Evil. And... That, combined with deep fakes and the speed and inescapability of modern networks, means they could just put you anywhere before you die, and have you say and do anything you they want. A thing I warned people about for years and was mocked for even suggesting. Told ya. Again. Peter Thiel is on the steering committee for the Bilderberg Group. He and Elon Musk are good friends and co-founded PayPal. BG, along with WEF and UN, are the visible nervous system of the deep state, in case you forgot or didn't know. Um, Peter Thiel also threw a significant amount of money at Facebook when it was starting. Project Maven is a Thiel, Google, and Eric Schmidt and James Murdoch facial recognition startup designed for the Pentagon. The more social media Teal is connected to, the worse. And worse yet, Elon Musk's buying of Twitter is supported by Jack Dorsey. Twitter guy. Uh, Peter Teal and a host of people associated with the worst industrial complexes. Suddenly, he, um, has the cash. Yeah. He's an elite-supported state capitalist backed by the system his most vocal supporters claim to oppose. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then I posted this, you know, that social media sites are using uh, coronavirus AI software, lack of human review, as an excuse to censor people. YouTube said the other day that their staff will be off-site, so even videos which don't violate TOS will be removed. Others followed suit. This was during the beginning of the real start of the crackdown, uh, back when I was writing the other article that I was right about uh, that people called me insane for which was uh, Panoptic on Rising, COVID-19, and the Elite Enslavement Plan. So, uh, you know, YouTube is loosening their restrictions now on COVID talk, but they're not going to reinstate uh, the, pla the people they censored. Um, so they're fucking evil. But you knew that already. That's why you should follow me on Odyssey in case uh, YouTube decides to X this channel. They already chose to censor Agoras Nexus, uh, of one of the episodes that I was on because I'm too fucking based for them. And then this is just a nice little 
image for you to look over. And then, furthermore, there's this. If you don't see information control in the age of lockdowns as a problem, it's because it's a private company, congrats on being brainwashed. That's it. That's all. They, they have brainwashed people into accepting this shit. That's, that's it. And it's evil. You know, imagine, imagine any other thing these days than Russia being used as an excuse for this sort of thing or COVID or whatever. Every time the media like fucking circulates a fucking topic like this, just be very aware that that is going to be their excuse for censorship and information control and shit in the future. And they won't need to prove shit. January 6th is an example. And right after I started talking about how it wasn't an insurrection, it was a tantrum. Wow, my Twitter's gone. They were like, oh yeah, yeah, he's just, he's part of this nasty MAGA QAnon fucking bot network. We can't prove it and we'll ignore all the anti-Trump stuff he said. We'll do all that so that we can just say, nope, you don't get to have your account because we're going to accuse you of platform manipulation and spam. And you know how I know that um, I was just added to some list and banned with no actual reason? Well, because a bunch of people got successful reports. A ton of people. For things like abuse and harassment. So which fucking is it, Twitter? This kind of lying is why people don't trust y'all. This kind of bullshit is why people don't trust y'all. Facebook, Twitter, anything like that. And then coming out and acting like it's fine. <sighs> oh, I just punched you. You're not going to just be able to say that and get away with it. You're going to get hit back. But you can't hit these people back. They're pretty much untouchable. Because of their status with the state. They've done the state enough favors that at this point the state's like, Hey, yeah, I got you on the books. Don't worry. We're, we're, you're in, dude. You're fine. So I just thought I'd bring this up. I thought it'd be a lot shorter. But, you know, whatever. This is This is one of my things we're talking about. I always think it's going to be short, and then it's long anyway. So, there you go. Facebook wants you to accept it from the horse's mouth that it's okay to suppress information. Um, and if you don't think that's a problem, I, I advise you to look into literally any dystopian fiction because we're coming up on all of them. Like, basically just fucking all of them at once. And to me, I can't think of a better fucking reason or a better fucking time than now to do something about it. To, like, actionably build alternative information networks so that we can think freely, you know, and, and even think freely in front of other people. Oh, shock and awe. Because I'll tell you, this, the way this system is working is fucking evil. And uh, it's only going to end in dystopian tyranny. That's all, it, that's all that's going to happen. And I've been right about it, like, basically every step of the way. Every step of the way. And now Amazon is getting fucking palm scanners. Remember when I said the mark of the beast and people called me insane? The people who've been here for a while anyway. The new people. Um, yeah, people have been calling me insane for a really fucking long time because of saying things like Mark of the Beast. And now they're scanning your hand and your face. Which is what the Bibble said would be the Merc of the Beast. I was right every step of the way. 
Now, uh, all I need is for people to sub to my Patreon and Kofi so that I can live in a place that's not constantly threatening me. You know, little things like that. Um, you can find out more about that in the description. But generally, yeah, I just hope people walk away from this with a bit better impression of people like me because they want you to hate people like me and ignore people like me and help them suppress people like me and help people like me never see the light of day and gradually be squeezed out everywhere until we're homeless or dead. And that is all the motivation I fucking need to smash the fucking 